Hey everybody, Brett here, and I'm gonna show you how to put your hardtop on your two-door JL Wrangler today. Perhaps you just watched my video lately or a couple months ago on how to take your hardtop off and now you wanna put it back on. I'm gonna show you how to do that and taking the right steps in the right order to make that happen quickly and safely. Let's get right into it. So the only two tools that you're gonna to need to put on your hardtop is a ratchet with a Torx 50. Perhaps you got that with your Jeep toolkit. Um, if you didn't, you can go to the hardware store, Fleet Farm, Walmart, and get a ratchet with a Torx 50 bit. You can also use this Torx 50 bit for the door hinges. And then you're gonna wanna grab a ladder. You're also gonna wanna grab a friend to help you put the back hardtop piece on because it is a little bit heavier than you can probably do by yourself. So let's get right into it and it'll be quick. So I wanted to show you real quick the pegs that are on the bottom of the hardtop so you can see them there's one right there and then there's one on the other end and then there's two on the other side now those pegs go into the slots right here right here so the top will actually go down once you have them in the right spots you ready yes all right so now we're ready to put the hard top back on. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do though is grab a friend. Say hello, Austin. Hi there. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab each side. You're gonna to wanna to put your hands wide enough apart so that the top doesn't rock. And then we'll get it, walk it right over to, and lift with your legs. Make sure it's lined up properly, over. And then just walk it up. Once you can line up the corners, just drop it on there slowly until it hits the pegs. You got it? Right there. Okay. There we go. And that's really all that's to it. Make sure that you have this glass piece up, otherwise it'll get in the way of the tire. And uh, it's just a lot easier to put on when this glass piece is up. And then you can open your door, close this, and now we just put the bolts and front hardtop pieces on and you're all set to go. Okay, so now we can get our bolts and put those back into the hardtop and put this seat down because that'll be a lot easier to get to the bolts. You're gonna need six for back here. You're also gonna need your ratchet and your Torx 50. I'm just gonna put them in and hand tighten them until they get almost all the way down. And then once they get hard to turn, then you use your ratchet to snug them up. And then we can put the quick disconnects on and the hard top pieces in the front on, and we're all set to go. And if the bolts don't go in easy, there's a good chance that you don't have the hard top on quite squarely. These are all, these are all going in very nicely. So then get your ratchet and just tighten them up. You don't have to put them too tight. Just make sure that they're snug you'll know when they're tight because the ratchet will not go easily anymore. This is the worst one. All right, a couple more. All right, now that you have them all tight, you can go to the quick disconnects. So if you put your quick disconnects where they're supposed to go, you have them in their little holders right there. You're just gonna wanna take the windshield washer fluid and just snap it right on there. You don't have to press the button or anything, it just snaps right on. This one you're gonna wanna push down on that red tab, pull it out, and then put it right on there. And it'll snap, it'll click, take your red piece, and push it up, easy as that. 
So before we put our front hard top pieces on, don't forget we have our last two Torx 50 bolts that have to go in on the top here. So you're gonna wanna just, uh, this is a good time to grab your ladder that we have and uh, put these bolts in. You can hand tighten them until they're snug and then finish them off with the ratchet and Torx 50 socket. Pretty easy. Once again, if, if they go in nicely, then you know you have the hard top on there correctly. If they're giving you a pain, then there's a good chance that uh, the hard top's not on properly. Just get them nice and snug and you'll know when it's tight, you don't want to turn it too much because you might crack the plastic of the hard top. Let's go do the other side. Once again, grab your ladder, put your bolt in and just turn it until it's snug. And then you can take your ratchet. All right, you're all set to go. Now we can put the hard top front pieces on and latch those down and you'll be all good to go. A couple quick things to note before we put the front hard top pieces on, you're gonna wanna prep it uh, before you put those on. Just put your sun visors down and you'll see why in just a second. And then on the actual hard top piece, you're gonna wanna put this latch up like so. If that's not up like that, it's gonna be really hard to get that onto the top easily. All right, so now you're ready to put the hard top pieces on. You wanna start with the passenger side first because it's got a lip, a weather stripping that the other one goes over. So you have to do the passenger side first. Just line it up nicely and it should fit real snugly into place. And now we can put on the driver's side. Make sure that that latch is open and you can get it over that lip. If it's not fitting on there correctly, it's because one of your latches isn't, is opened or not opened properly. I just had to do one of the latches and now you can see that it goes on nice and flush with everything. And now it's time to latch everything up and you're all set to go. So now we can latch everything up on the inside. I recommend doing the passenger side first to get that snug down and then the driver's side will snug down on that. So just put your latch there, snap that, snap that, snap that, snap that, snap that, do that latch, and do that final snap. Now if they don't go that easy, you probably have something not aligned properly. So if you're really struggling to close this, um, I would check your alignment to make, it, make sure everything is lined up right. Otherwise you might damage the hard top or you'll get leaks. And that's all that's to it. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope it was helpful. And if it was helpful, leave me a comment in the comment sections below. Also click the like, subscribe, and share button, as well as the bell notifications, because we do videos each and every day here at Summit Auto. And if you want to get alerted to those, you got to click the bell notifications. In fact, I do videos just about every day, and we have one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube, including Wranglers, over 500 videos of Wranglers, and over 8,000 vehicle walkarounds. So definitely click those things. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to how to take your hard top off in the lower left, and a link to how to take your doors off of your JL in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, really appreciate you checking out the video today, and thanks again. I also found that it's a lot easier just to edit the video than it is to like trust that the clicker. Oh yeah, you can trim that. So you're gonna wanna make sure that the flat end of the hard top is going towards the front of the vehicle and just get it on there over the lip, over the lip of the other one. Make sure it's forward enough. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to do, undo that latch. That's why that was doing that. All right, now it'll go down. Also want to make sure that these are under the lip before it goes on there.